What's up? This is Tridip and you're watching a brand new episode of Learn with Tridip. Hope you are doing extremely well and your businesses are flourishing after this lockdown is lifted. Hope you and your loved ones are absolutely safe and sound. This video is a bit different from my regular videos. You will come to know why. I am part of a community of highly talented coders and video marketers. I am referring to the Interactor Video Marketing Community who deals with interactive videos. Videos that definitely increases your social media ROIs by 5x to 8x. Ryan Phillips and Chris Bell and the team has done a superb job in creating a very cost effective platform where you can make any mundane video interactive. By interactive, I mean videos that give you the option to choose various paths within the video to reach at a destination or end result. Interactive video has changed the entire paradigm of video engagement in the social space. While the interactive social media world is going gaga about the advantages that video interactor brings on the table, there are some small things that still bothers the video creators. One of them is playing a portrait video or a square video in full screen. I firmly believe that your content is the king and not whether you are able to play the video full screen in landscape mode or portrait mode. Your client will never bother, believe me, your client will never bother to tilt the mobile to check whether the video is viewing correctly in landscape mode or square mode or portrait mode. But saying that there is a pain point and many of the users have complained and raised tickets that they wanted this option of playing the video full screen. So in this video I will take you step by step to show you how I have written a code that will be able to help you play your square video and your portrait video in full screen mode. Sound interesting? Before you dive in to see how that can be done, please like, share and comment on the video and show some love. Also if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications whenever a video gets uploaded. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, many had been wondering and were apprehensive if I will be fiddling with the raw video player file. No, I won't be touching the source code. Hence, the sanity of the source code remains as it is. My solution is basically of two parts. A. Preparation. In this phase, I will guide you how to prepare your videos so that it can play full screen on a mobile screen. The part B is the actual code. My additional code base over and above the iframe code that is provided by the interactive team. There is a two and a half stage which is the bonus safeguarding, a subtle message to guide people that the video is available in full screen only in the portrait mode of the mobile. When someone tilts the mobile from portrait to landscape mode, the video is not played. Again when they tilt back to the portrait mode, the video again starts playing.
so now the preparation stage you just need to open your square video in adobe premiere or any other video uh, editing tool but ensure the sequence is created as 16 is to 9 i prefer 1920 is to 1080 be careful that you your video is not of a very low quality and is placed exactly at the center of the horizontal video render the video where the square or the portrait video is at the center of the horizontal video i always optimize the video with handbrake to reduce the file size without losing the quality handbrake is a fantastic tool and it is free of cost i will teach you the settings of handbrake in a separate video now import the square videos in interactor canvas and create all the interactivity that you require publish the final file as iframe videos copy the code and replace it in my code that's it you are done for those who know a bit of coding will understand how easy it is for portrait video also you have to do exactly the same thing code so my code base is as simple as writing a html css code the html part is by default written in the body slash body section of the html file and the css is written in the head slash head section now i will tell you the best part of the tutorial which i am sure all will be eagerly waiting for yes my friends the code is also available for you at a minimum price please contact me at tridipghosh2015 at gmail.com also the code is available as normal html css as well as for anyone using dv or elementor or any other theme of wordpress that supports external html code so use it based on what type of pages your website has that's all folks hope you like this mini tutorial if you liked it please like share and comment on the video if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel if you have already not done so thank you for watching and don't forget to ping me if you really want the code base two files for portrait and square plus one help file on how to prepare the videos to be used with the code goodbye and god bless